open up. Shalom. Uh, first off, I want to give all praises to Yahweh. Yahweh, Baha Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elder apostles of great millstone and citations to all that came out there pushing the word of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, in truth and sincerity. Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Barak a thumb. Yeah, we at the ah, uh, the how do we say this again? The Athi, the Athi Tiki, or the the Ata Tiki um, Museum, okay, on the on the Big Cypress Reservation, um, in Florida, okay, um, and yeah, man, this is a Reubenite Reservation. Uh, you know, they have a museum here going through, um, the you know the, uh, the Seminole history, man, okay, and we, you know, in a previous video we spoke about. Um, the Seminole Wars, okay, and um, you know the attack on Negro Fort, I believe, by Andrew Jackson. Yeah, it was Andrew Jackson who yeah. attacked. Um, it was Negro Fort was based out in Georgia, uh -huh. um, and then um, Andrew Jackson attacked Negro Fort, where all the uh, refugees from um, slavery, as well as uh, Seminole Indians, they were working. You know, they were together. All right, and then Andrew Jackson went in there and it caused some shit because he's the devil. You know what I mean? Oh my God. Mm -hmm. But yeah, now we're about to get into um, uh, the Black Seminoles. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Which uh, this is this is from uh, one of their. Yeah. This is one uh, from one of their magazines, Florida Seminole War um, Heritage Trail. Con. Okay. Just if tongue shall fall upon themselves, Con. you know, proving the case. Yeah. You want me to read it? Yeah, go ahead. Out. Okay, Con. So this is the Black Seminoles. It goes on and says. More than any other Indian conflict, the Seminole Wars were strongly influenced by the issue of slavery. Con and the slavery that they're talking about is um, the slavery of, of, of the Southern Kingdom, okay, mm -hmm. Judah, um, predominantly Judah, okay, Benjamin and Levi being enslaved here in America, okay. Con, for over a century, blacks held in bondage in Georgia and the Carolinas had fled to freedom in Spanish Florida. Con, so you always had, uh, you always had, um, you know. The, the history of, of Jake, you know, trying to flee um, their slave masters in Georgia, okay, in the south to um, to Florida because they knew that um, Florida was controlled by the Spanish, okay, so they would be uh, free from, you know, the American Edomites that had them in, in bondage. Okay. Many joined the Seminole and some became influential leaders. Mm -hmm. They often resided in their own villages close to Indian settlements and developed their own culture with a mix of Indian African and American influences. Con, so they they would they left and they came down to Florida, okay, and um they would they would uh, settle among the Seminoles, okay, because they and that they that was about um let's see what it, what does it say they fled for freedom, okay, mm -hmm. con, okay, so they wouldn't be in bondage anymore, okay, and they developed their own village and they, and they even became leaders, okay, con. okay, they even became influential leaders. Um, in those regions, oh, you know, uh, with Northern Kingdom, okay, North, the Northern Kingdom Seminoles, all right, they developed their own cultures, okay, they had their own villages, all right, showing you our people weren't weren't uh, dumb, man, our people weren't weren't stupid, like Esau tries to make them out to be, man, okay, they had a they had a mixture of cultures with American influence, okay, with so-called African influence and um, Indian influence too, man, okay, so our people were, were always, uh, you know, always had an understanding about them, you know. Although numerous blacks lived voluntarily among the Seminole, mm -hmm. many were actually purchased slaves. Con, so you also had um, you also had Southern Kingdom that had purchased, um, or that were purchased as slaves by the Northern Kingdom. Mm -hmm. Okay, but the Northern Kingdom uh, Seminoles treated them better than the, than Edomite, than the Edomites did. You mm -hmm. know, their plantation experience made them skilled farmers, mm -hmm. which yielded profits to their owners, mm -hmm. who could sell the slaves surplus produce. Yet Seminole slaves were treated much like any other tribal member, mm -hmm. and for most of them, it was as close to freedom as they could hope to get. Con, so you know, you got people saying, "Oh, um, you know, the, the you had the the Indians that had uh, the Negroes as slaves, but they treated us far better than the Edomites did." Mm -hmm. You know, the Edomites um, raped us, robbed us, beat us, treated us like crap. You know, but uh, you know, the 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 Reubenites, the Seminoles, being our brothers, they treated us and, and treated us well, man. Showing you that they had that dignity about them, like the scriptures say, man. That's right. Okay, mm -hmm. the scriptures say they had that that dignity about them. Okay, that mm -hmm. honor about them. All right, and and that goes even into the scriptures, man. You know, um, you know, having a Hebrew slave, you're supposed yeah. to treat them a certain way. You know, God. you're not supposed to uh, make them serve uh, with rigor, but of the heathen, you know, you could take them and make them slur uh, serve with rigor. You could put hell on them, but you can't do that to your own people, man. Okay. 
After Florida became a United States territory in 1821, Southern slave owners pressured the government to recover their stolen slaves. Mm -hmm. Esau being a devil. Yep. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> Treaties contained clauses demanding the return of runaways and unscrupulous slave catchers often took blacks that had been properly purchased by the Seminole or free men and women who had been born into the tribe. So Esau being a, a damn thief, okay? Mm -hmm. Because it, it says, um, it says, uh, the, the the southern slave owners, okay, the Edomites would would uh, go and take, um, you know, the the southern kingdom uh, Jakes, okay, for, uh, that were properly purchased, okay, by the Seminoles, okay, meaning that it was legally done, it was done in the proper manner, and they would take them, okay, take them back as if they as if it was theirs, okay. So you you still in another man's property, that's right, okay. And they took uh, they took what else did they take? It said free men and women. Free men and women who had been born into the tribe. tribe yep. Okay, so free men and women who were um, who were born okay amongst the tribe uh, amongst the tribe members. All right. That's right. So they were part of the tribe, but then you're gonna go and take them as though as though they belonged to you just because they were descendant of a of a slave that you might have had okay a couple generations ago. Con. He saw the, saw the he saw the devil man. Yeah. He, these Edomites they gotta pay for that. Yep. You know. And and. Yeah, man, you Edomites gotta pay, man. Our people don't want don't uh, don't want to hear, you know, us talking about how Esau has to pay, how he has to go into slavery, and you Edomites don't want to hear it either, man. But you gotta pay for this, okay? Right. You gotta pay for stuff like this, man. All right, the Most High requires that that which is past, man. And you touch the apple of the Lord's eye. That's right. right. Okay, and then you got you got uh you got calling our people Seminoles, runaway, rebellious. Why? Because they were rebelling against you. That's right. Okay. But that goes all according to prophecy, because you know, because the scriptures say um, Reuben would be unstable as waters anyway. Yeah. Okay, and that's why it was so uh, hard for you to conquer them. Not only because they were rebelling against you, okay, all right, and they knew the terrain better than you did, okay, but also, um, but also the scriptures also talk about how they were strong, man. They were mighty, okay. So all them, all them years you tried to overcome them, okay. You tried to fight, you tried to defeat them, and they were putting foot, okay, in your rear end, okay. On. It goes on and says, because Indians and blacks were effectively barred from the court system, they were rightfully resentful for the loss of friends, family members, or valuable slaves. Right. Okay. So the Indians, the natives here, and and the blacks, which were which were the Southern Kingdom, Northern and Southern Kingdom, they were barred from the court system, meaning they didn't have any legal standing. They didn't have no status in the courts in the American courts. Okay. So the Americans could just come up and sweep. And take uh, and take family members. All right, which goes back to the curses, man. That's right. Okay, you, uh, they, your your sons and daughters shall be taken into captivity. You shall have no might in your hands. But then you got, um, you got a holes out there, like you know, trying to control my language. You got a holes out there that want to talk about how oh those are not the Israelites. Right. Know? When they when they fall exactly under the curses, they had their goods taken away from there. They had their yep. friends, family members. Yep. Okay. Yep. Yep. Done. It goes on and says, blacks fearing a return to slavery pressured the Seminole to resist removal to the West. And when war broke out, they became some of the tribe's fiercest warriors. Right. Okay. So you got Southern Kingdom, you know, not wanting to go back on, on, on the slavery to Esau, man. They joined with the, with the, with the Seminoles, man, the Reubenites, man. Mm -hmm. Okay. And they became fierce warriors, man, so that they wouldn't have to travel out West. Okay. Mm -hmm. And be, and be removed. You know, like, uh, like the, what was that, the, the Indian Removal Act? Yeah, Khan, the Indian Removal Act that was uh, set up, okay, once again, all right, during the time of Andrew Jackson, all right, taking the land of the, uh, of all the, uh, the various tribes, man, that are here, okay, within Florida, man. And that's just another reason why, you know, uh, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and the Americans, you have to understand, man, that this was a systematically done operation on our people, man. It was done on purpose, man, to break us down as a people, all right? And you have to come and you have to wake up and realize that, man, these so-called white people, man, they're not your friend, man. They never were back then and not going to be today, man, all right? Now they're using economics. But just, just by reading this, this should put anger in you like, damn, man, you know? And it also should put um, some type of... Um, however you want to call it, this whole tension between Northern and Southern Kingdom to rest because they were working with each other to try to um, get rid of the so-called white man's, you know, um, wicked acts, man, these yeah. unrighteous decrees. Yeah. Our, our, our enemies, man. Yep. yep. They, they're both our enemies. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Uh, the rest says, others fearing capture fled Florida by canoe 
taking refuge in the Bahamas where slavery had been abolished. Con, con, and, and um, you know that that goes into a whole different thing. Mm -hmm. You know, but you you know you got you had our people moving around, having to you know be scattered even in their even in the land that was that they came to so that they could keep the laws, that's your commandments that they yeah. broke. You know. Yeah. But yeah, you know. But yeah, man, you know this is history. You know we're out here, okay, in the middle of South Florida. Okay, it's called a uh, Big Cypress Reservation, and you know we just came here and, and um, looked at, you know, this uh, the tribe of Reuben, man, and, and what they went through, man. God, you want to pan around? It? Yeah, yeah come, come, come. Come. Yep, that's what it is. Mm -hmm. And then, and this is in the middle of nowhere, also. Yeah. So yeah. That's how Esau push push uh, Reuben in the middle of nowhere. You yeah. know. Yeah. And with that, that was yeah, pretty much it. Yeah. With that, uh, we want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh, Yahusha, double honor to the Apostle of Great Millstone, and salutations to the alchemists out there pushing this truth of sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth and making their body living sacrifice for Yahweh, Yahusha. Shalom. 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 Shalom.